Okay, so I was tasked to replace this old stair rail. It's, this rail has been here for, uh, since we lived here. So it's, as you can see, it's pretty rotted out and there's, it's missing this, this center bracket piece here. So I'm just gonna remove it here. Um, these old lag screws, half of them start falling apart as I start unscrewing them. So that's the first step. I'm gonna remove it and get rid of it. And then we're gonna mock up the new one. Okay, so this project is shouldn't be too hard, but it's, it becomes a little difficult only because the um, it's screwed into uh, concrete. And so if it was all wood steps, this would have been a lot easier. So now we're going to start cutting the, the wood um, to its final length, and then we'll we'll start mocking it up. So for this project, we are going to be using a uh, pressure treated pine. Uh, I was thinking about using some oak I had left over or even some cedar. I was going to get some cedar, but uh, the wife wanted pressure treated pine because we're, we're not sure if we're going to uh, paint or stain it uh, in the future. That won't be part of this project, but that's something she's still deciding if we're going to paint or not. So I just wanted to go with pine then, pressure treated pine. Okay, so now I'm going to be setting my miter saw to a 35 degree angle here, and that's the angle we're going to be using for this um, this uh, sensor rail, I guess we'll call it, uh, for support. And also, um, as you'll see later in the project, it kind of changed the way it lays out. So we originally were going to have two of these, um, going to be used with dominoes and glue, but since um, my wife wanted just a top rail on top, on top of this, the, the up and down pieces support. So it actually made it a little easier for me, uh, but it changed the way um, I'm designing it. So I will have to uh, cut another piece for the top. You'll see that later. And we'll just screw that in and use dowels to cover it. But um, right now, this is for the center uh, bracket piece. This will be at 35 degree angles used with dominoes and glue. Okay, so now I'm laying down how I'm with the look. And you see this top piece here where the arrow just pointed? I will not be using that so that piece will not be used i'm just going to put a top flat piece uh along those uh, bottom and top uh support that will be a uh, lag bolted into the concrete although i could have done both but she didn't want she thought it was going to be too high so um we're just going to so the design is not going to look exactly like this but the center piece will be used and we will be using dominoes and i'm marking out those uh spots right now where we're going to um, with the dominoes. So you can see here I'm using the Festal Domino uh, joiner and I'm just going to be uh, using 50 by 10 millimeter uh, dominoes, uh, the biggest ones you could get for this, the smaller joiner. So I'm gonna be using that in glue and also gonna be using some brad nails. So I'm just marking out the slots. So they're going in straight, but the other side will be angled. And this was tricky getting them in. So the way I lay it out, and I do for, um, did forget the video of this part as I assemble it later. Um, I'm just going to put the dominoes in, in I'm going to dry fit it first, but then when I ultimately set this up, we're going to be using glue and these dominoes, and I'm going to have the top stretcher in first, or, top, or the top support in first, and then we will um, be putting this into the bottom and then just joining them together. Uh, unfortunately, you can't really clamp it. Um, I don't have clamps long enough. Uh, I was able to do it a little bit, clamp it a little bit. <laughs> Okay, um, but ultimately I had to tap it and, and 
then put a brad nail on the top too just to help support so now as you see i'm dry finned right now and it fits perfectly it's nice and straight and we'll put this top piece in next So here I'm going to countersink uh, some pilot holes for the bottom of each upright rails for the for the bottom of the steps and tops. So I'm going to countersink and then later you'll see I'm going to use a forcener bit to hollow out the uh, the holes so the washers and the lag screw bolts uh, do not stick out past the, the wood. So that's what I'm doing now. So this step I'm just uh, making sure everything's level uh, for the top rail and I'm going to drill through the wood with the hammer drill just to get my uh, markings on the concrete and then I'll pull the wood off and then I'll hammer uh, the holes in for the anchors. So here, I was kind of lucky, and it's kind of a little tip. So I'm using an existing hole that was in the concrete from the old uh, rail, and I'm going to put a screw into there as I tap it, and I'm going to lay the wood on there. That's what's kind of holding it up the support right now, so I can get my four pile holes with the hammer drill. That's what I'm doing now. So it's just a little tip. I'll have to fill those holes in later with some uh, concrete patch, but uh, it definitely helped with this uh, top rail with no help by yourself. So you can see here, I'm just getting the four piled holes, like I said, with the hammer drill. So this will help me um, get my markings on the concrete, like I mentioned. So my next step will be to pull the wood off after I get these four markings. Um, and then I'll drill them out completely to put the concrete anchors and tap them in um, after I get my, my markings drilled out here, which is the step I'm at now. As you can see, I have my markings, and now I'm going to uh, drill these holes out completely. So I'm doing the top first, and I'll do the bottom later after I get the, the rest assembled. So here, as you can see, I, this is where I was talking about earlier with the pilot holes. So my washers and lag bolts will be recessed into the wood, so not sticking out. So here's one of the most crucial parts of this whole project, uh, screwing in this top rail. So if this is not level or straight, it can put the whole project off. So I'm going to do each screw at a time or each bolt. So I'm going to not, not tighten them too much because I want to make sure when, I'm, when it's laying up to here that it's level. So I'm going to keep checking that as I tighten it up. And like I said, I need some play when I assemble the, the bottom uh, rail and also the braces. So I need, I need a little room to play with here, but I just want to get the four bolts in, uh, but not too tight yet.
So here I'm going to pre-assemble uh, the bottom rail into the, um, the center brace that's going up and down, or oh, the length of the steps. Uh, so this is what I'm doing now. I'm just putting uh, some glue in the domino um, mortise, and then I'll put the tenons in. Uh, like I said, these are going to be 10 by 50s, so they're going to be bigger dominoes for added strength. So that's what I'm doing here. So I don't show me connecting this to the outside. I forgot to have the camera on, but this is pretty much it. So once I line these up, I just kind of smack them into the bottom and then glue them to the top and top rail here. So now it's assembled. And like I said, I for, uh, forgive me for not doing that part, but it was fairly simple. Um, but now I'm installing the top rail. And this is the change um, that we did. So I'm also routing out. So I'm just holding these in with screws and I'm going to fill them with some bales and I'm routing up any sharp edges here. Just a little chamfer. Um, I'm going to sand down everything, make sure it's smooth. And pretty much this is it. This project is pretty much done. Uh, I'm not going to paint it or stain it yet or put a finish on it yet because my wife is still deciding if we want to pick a color or leave it natural still. So that will probably be a separate step. So like I said, I'm just using um, screws to hold this top rail in with glues and dale and, and a couple of brad nails too, just to hold it as a clamp. The brad nails I put in um, out of strength. So this is it, this project's done. It was pretty, took me a few hours to do it. It's getting dark now. So here I'm just cutting off the uh, the dales and I will sand them down and this project's done. Thanks for watching.